Hey guys, this is Rocking3 bringing you another commentary for Forza 5. And uh, the last video was the Railroad Drive Expo. And now I'm here to show you my All Wheel Drive Expo. Um, I did not quite do the same track as I did last time. Um, this is the one without the tunnel. And uh, this one I think I'm about third, 350th right now. So we should be able to beat a rival here within a couple of laps. Um, the All Wheel Drive Expo is going to be, has a few different aspects to it. And the River Drive one that I showed you already. It's not going to be quite as extreme on the setups. Um, but the reason why I did it originally was because I was having a hard time driving the Expo. So I thought, well, we'll try All Wheel Drive. And then I also attempted to do an aspiration change as well. So this is actually a turbo model. You'll see that the PI is 597, 697. Um, I think it's 697. So it doesn't quite max out the PI on this class. And there's no way for me to add three points anywhere. So I wasn't able to do any kind of weight reduction or do anything with the tires or anything like that. So I've maxed out everything I can max out without going way over. So this turbo drives a lot differently than the um, other one with a different engine in it. So you're going to see me shift like at between 5,000 RPM and 5,500 RPMs. And basically just driving these two, these two gears. I don't, I don't need fourth. I don't need anything lower. And you'll see that I have a lot of pull at 4,000 RPMs in this car. Because the power band just starts a lot earlier. The other thing that you'll notice about this car is that it understeers a little bit. Um, I have not, I've tried to take the oversteer, oops, i tried to take the oversteer out of it, um, but I have not been able to do that, so it understeers a little bit. And the way the gear works, it actually has further to go, but it really can't go any faster than what it's doing right now, because the, the power band is so early in the RPMs. So the way you have to gear it is a lot different than what you had to do before. I'm not having a good lap, but uh, still able to stay right with this guy. Handles pretty well. Pulls up this hill pretty well. Gets in the 130s, which is nice. And I basically only shift twice. Maybe three times. But again, it's the really odd thing about it, it is it's really, really early in the RPM range. fifth gear and I had a dirty lap so I'll have to run another one here and see if we can actually beat it and even though it sounds like really low RPMs the nice thing about it is it actually does turn a little bit better because of the low RPMs because you don't have all that that torquiness going on um, but it, it really is different to drive. And there I missed the turn, so I'm going to let off the gas for a second. And I'm slower this lap so far. Let's see if we can make some more up on the back end. shipped a little while ago but hadn't done it yet. Turbo is it's a very fast accelerating car and you'll notice that versus other cars. As long as you get your shifts right, you actually pull away from a lot of cars. The acceleration is so high. Plus it's all wheel drive, which doesn't hurt. Could accelerate away from this guy. And he's actually faster than I am. We're gonna try one more lap here just to see if I can make it even faster. Dang up that wall pretty well. Right here going in the mid 130s is really good too. 
didn't want to have to let off there a little bit, but I did. A little bit slower than last time. Try to break a little bit later there. Touching the wall, I did. Try not to touch the wall, I didn't lose any speed there. This will be close. It's gonna be real consistent. And that's one thing you'll find with this all-wheel drive car, is it's very consistent. So you'll be able to take this and go to other racetracks with it. And do okay with it. Let's so cut this one a little bit. I think I gained a little bit of time right there, but it's not gonna be enough. Not enough. All right, so let's finish that track up. Beat the rival. I love running laps, especially when there's another car like that out there. Here's my favorite part of the game. I'm <laughs> watching the results. Come on. Ooh, 194. Getting up there. All right, so now we'll go back and first we'll look at the parts and then we'll look at the tune. This one's pretty similar in parts except for the engine and aspiration. So we will go there first. All right, so I did the first engine, which see has that huge spike there at the beginning. And then there's my drivetrain swap. So I now have a turbo with all wheel drive. That engine didn't have an aspiration shot swap, it was just the engine itself. Um, full upgrade on wing front and back. And I'll go to the engine part next. Full brakes. And I know I have full roll bars. Um, I don't have the chassis, the roll cage. But I do have the middle suspension. I will have race everything here I believe race transmission which I didn't have loaded out interesting I'll have to go back and look at that as well I have that and of course that all right we'll look at tires real quick so the tires are going to be fully upgraded and they're going to be the lightest they can be and I think the lightest ones are in the first set there we go. That one right there. And then I'm going to have full upgrades there and there. There I have full and full. And then the tires, I just have a stock. See, I wasn't able to upgrade those at all this time. The all-wheel drive, though, really does make the difference in it. Um, and then, because of the engine change, there's no smaller changes in here. There's just this piece. And as you see, it makes a huge jump in it. 62 horsepower, 124 horsepower. So taking off the restrictor plate, I guess is what it's called. Um, so that's the parts. And then here's going to be the tune. And I probably should work on that and see if I can get faster shifts with the other transmission. This is pretty similar to the other one. I think I have a little bit more camber. I was trying to make it a little bit oversteer a little bit more. Um, this one's pretty much back to standard normal. You can see these are not nearly what the other ones were with the rear wheel drive. It runs a little bit softer. <coughs> the arrow is a lot different. <coughs> Excuse me. I have nothing in the front. A little bit more in the back. 
Break force is going to be identical to the other one with the 40 and the 105. Differential, I'm going to run 10 right there, zero on that. And then this deceleration, I could probably move up a little bit, but I've been running at 50 on the all-wheel drive, and it seems to be working pretty well, and the balance at 80. So this all-wheel drive is really easy to drive. The only thing you have to remember is to make sure you make that shift early. That's the, that's the key to it. Make sure you look at that power band. And uh, let me let me show you that power band again. You can see where that at two two thousand RPMs. I mean, I've been shifting between like four thousand and fifty five hundred because it just loses power. So right where that torque and horsepower matches, that's where I've been shifting. You see, there's a lot more left to the engine, but it just doesn't have that big of an advantage that way. So give this one a try as well. This is the all-wheel drive version of it. Um, you probably mix and match, do the other engine, do all-wheel drive, um, or take this one and make it just stock, and then maybe you can make another adjustment to it as well. It's a fun car to play with. It's just really bizarre to try to tune. Thanks a lot for listening, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Later.